Hello everybody, I am Dr. Aban Salwan. I am a consultant cardiologist at KR Hospitals Nambali. Uh, today I would like to give you a brief outline about the management of acute coronary syndromes. That means in simple terms about you know patients who get chest pain, angina, we label it as differently like when you have a chest pain on walking, it is called as angina. Suppose you have severe chest pain which is increasing in frequency, increasing in intensity, it is a new onset of chest pain, then that is what we call in medical terms as unstable angina and then you have after that what you call as a myocardial infarction which is the extreme in this range of uh, anginas which is you know when the vessel, the blood vessel supplying the heart gets completely occluded, it causes what is known in simple terms as a heart attack or in medical terms as a myocardial infarction. So how would you recognize whether you have angina or whether you have an unstable angina or you have a myocardial infarction. So first of all the risk factors for these to occur, these are more common in people who are diabetic, who have uncontrolled hypertension, who smoke, who are obese, who have a sedentary lifestyle and you have a very stressful lifestyle, lack of adequate sleep. These are all precipitating factors and these may lead to onset of coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease is more common in males as compared to females, but that should not uh, lead to the thought that females do not have coronary artery disease. Postmenopausal females have an equal risk of coronary artery disease as males. So how would you recognize that you are having a cardiac event? So suddenly if you start getting chest pain in the center of your chest or a pain radiating to your left arm or an epigastric pain, lot of belching, gaseous or even a choking sensation, you need to be very careful, you should not ignore these signs and immediately you should go to the nearest hospital and get a ECG done. Once you have got the ECG done, that does not rule out coronary artery disease because in certain cases ECG may be normal and still you may have blockages in your blood vessels. So then you have to go for the next steps like an echocardiogram or probably a treadmill test and further investigations like a in coronary angiogram. Nowadays we also have CT coronary angiogram for by in which you just have to go into a CT scan machine for about 10 minutes and you can know the status of your coronary arteries. So any chest pain, epigastric pain, belching should not be neglected. Once you are diagnosed with a coronary artery disease, you have multiple options depending upon the severity of disease, depending upon how many blockages are there in your heart. Some of them can be managed medically with good medications. Others may need to get an angioplasty and a stenting done. And some of them, if the, they are very multiple blocks, long blocks, diabetic patients may even have to get a bypass surgery done. So in short, there are multiple options nowadays with good medications, with good uh, surgical interventions and with good intervention skills, you can be leading a very, very happy and normal life even after these procedures. So do not be shy of visiting your doctor in case you have any such symptoms and please follow the advice of your doctor and you shall all remain healthy for a long time. Thank you very much.